Yo, what's good? My name is Kang Le Kangaroo. I'm a Canadian that's currently living and working in Seattle as a software engineer. And in this channel, we explore tips and tricks that you can take advantage of in order to reach fire faster. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down dollar by dollar how much I spent, saved, and invested in the month of November. All right, so let's start out with pay. This month, I earned $6,400. Earlier in the year, I maxed my 401k. So this is the amount that hits my bank account after I do my deductions from my ESPP and for my healthcare plans. Kind of segues into my investment section. This month, I have invested a total of $3,200, $1,600 of which is in my ESPP, and another $1,600 directly into Bitcoin. Now for the past couple of months, I've actually not been investing as much as I normally do. I've been saving some money, putting into a money market fund in order to save up it to potentially buy an investment property. A big reason why this video is late is because I've been doing a lot of traveling. So I'm back in Toronto now and I also went to Costa Rica for nine days with four of my friends over American Thanksgiving. Now Costa Rica was really cool. I really recommend going if you're into nature or wildlife or anything like that. Costa Rica is a little bit more on the expensive side and this month I spent $1,083 over that nine day span in Costa Rica. So for activities, this was stuff like parks, passes, coffee tours, wildlife tours, zip lining, all that ended up being around $283. Food and drink, this is groceries, eating out, and this was around $267. Now my favorite dish in Costa Rica was the chicken and rice as well as the cosada and this fried chicken chain called Poliandia. Transport, which includes our rental car for eight days, Ubers and taxis ended up being $215 a person, which is very affordable all things considered. And I think transportation for most people when they go to Costa Rica is really expensive. Us it ended up being cheap because we were splitting a rental car five ways. Miscellaneous, which includes things like souvenirs, bug spray, beach towels, that sort of thing, ended up being around $19. And accommodations for 10 nights split between five people was around $330 a night, which is very, very cheap, which makes sense because we are splitting the whole entire cost of the Airbnb five ways. Now, if you total all of that up, it equals just under $1,100. I didn't include the price of the flight because I paid for that in another month. But just for some context, I used 70000 and airplane points and paid $215. So if you had all that up in total for Costa Rica, I spent just under $1,300 for nine or 10 days. And that magic $1,300 number coincidentally is also how much I pay for rent and all those things in Seattle. So in total for my rent, utilities, electric bill, internet, all that, all my living expenses, adds up to around $1,300 a month. For some context, I share a two bedroom apartment in Capitol Hill, Seattle. I'm obviously not there right now, I'm actually in Toronto, but I still gotta pay you know, the rent utilities and stuff like that to keep the lights on. Next up, I spent $405 on gifts this month. Some of this is early shopping for Christmas and another of it is just you know, birthdays here and there. For food, this month I spent a total of $171, which is separate from the food that I spent in Costa Rica. And this is mostly on fast food and eating out. I spent like $5 in groceries this month. So while I was home in Seattle for the month of November, I was basically just cleaning up my fridge because I knew I wouldn't be back in Seattle for a while. So I was basically on poverty meals, just eating what I could just to finish everything up. Now, aside from that, the only real thing of significance that I purchased this month was some boots. All right, so I got these boots from Walker Vietnam. They're Guidi PL2 dupes or look like, however you want to call them. And they were $162. Now they're handmade and fully made out of leather. I don't know if you can tell. Nice zippers too. But, but I'm not gonna lie, I super impulse purchased these. My stepmom was going to Vietnam and I saw a TikTok video recommending them. And I was like, well, if she's going to Vietnam, she can buy them for me. And then I don't have to pay like 40 bucks in shipping. So yeah, I just bought them. And I know it's pretty dumb. Spend $160 to save $40 in shipping, but it is what it is. Now I've worn them a couple times before. They're pretty comfortable. They're breaking in really nicely. If you're in the market for handmade leather boots that look like Wheaties, here you go. Very good recommendation for 160 bucks. So in total this month, I spent $161 Canadian, which works out to about like $110 USD. So I guess you can add like another 100 bucks to the spend, which bumps it up to like 3,200. In terms of activities, before I went to Costa Rica, I was honestly really just recovering from Thailand. Those three weeks in Thailand really destroyed me. So I was literally recovering, resting, playing Valorant, chilling, that sort of thing. And then right after coming back from Costa Rica, I was like, okay, it's basically the holidays. I'm in basically recovery mode. I'm in hibernating, not doing anything, just chilling. So that's all I've been doing. Literally just chilling with my girlfriend, playing games, watching movies, that sort of thing. This year I've been very, very lucky to be able to travel as much as I did. Did just some quick math and I almost took 20 flights this year, 19 to be exact, which is a lot. Now, like I said, I'm very grateful to be in a position where I can afford to travel this much, but I will say that it's taking a big toll on me. Like I'm super tired of getting on a plane and I have pretty bad flight anxiety too. So I'm excited to spend the next month or so just literally bumming at home, doing nothing, and enjoying spending time with my family and my friends. So all in all, this month, I earned $6,400, invested $3,200, and spent roughly $3,250. Now again, this video is pretty late, so my bad, but I've just been kind of busy catching up with my friends and relaxing. Going forward, I'm really excited that's gonna be the holidays, so I'm gonna be spending a lot of time with my family and my friends. But if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. I will answer them. Now, if you wanna see more of my face, hear more of my voice, you can watch this video right here, where the YouTube algorithm picked a video by me for you.